Hello y'all, this is Rob from Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today I have a little unboxing for you that I'm pretty excited about. It's from Naz Knives. Ben Banters, I believe, as you can see. So I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Let's take a look. I think this is part of his Kickstarter. So let's see what we got. Ooh, we got some goodies in here. Oops. Some other things. I think that's it right there. So what do we have here? Oh, we got the space patch. That's cool. I'm definitely going to put that on my, my bag. Oh, we got one of the Rockets stickers. Definitely going on my wall of stickers. That's really cool. And we got a NAFS knives. Very cool. All right, let's open this up. Oh, my. Must. Let's get this up from the beginning. Must be bold. Jerry App, talking about his uh, Kickstarter. And look at that. He signed and his wife signed. That is really sweet. Wow. That's a lot of knives he had to sign. A lot of papers because I think he boxed every one of these or packaged them and signed these. That's a, that's a big effort. That's a hard working dude. Anyways, that's really cool. I'm very excited to be part of that Kickstarter and be able to support it. Let's see what it says right here. It says NAF Lander Black Stone Washed. There we go and the NAFS box, which is you know, a very nice box for a very inexpensive knife, I think. I mean, it's better than what you get with some other cheaper boxes. So let's take a look. Here we go. Oh, we got a little padding there. All right. Let's see, a knife, I got some, some packaging and some wording. Let's see what it says. Ah, uh, yeah. 1969, Neil Armstrong. Okay, so it's another one of those neat little things. Definitely worth the read. You can all take a look if you'd like. I will definitely take a look later on, and there the schematics work, because this knife is intended to be modified by you. That's the neat thing. All scales are quickly swappable once you have other scales to swap them with, which I plan to do. So let's take a look. Here we are. All right, so this is the NAF's knife. I have a baby banter which I probably should have used to open this knife, now that I thought about it. And I had a banter, but I sold that one because I really didn't like the sharp edges. But then I saw that he had this really cool um, scales that he sold on his website that, man, if I had known, I'd have kept that. Anyways, this is the knife right here. Let's look at that. Very dead center, you can see that. That's nice. Nice little size, definitely fits in the hand. I like the shape, very traditional. Like other commenters have said, it's a traditional sized knife and thumb studs. Very cool, deep, deep carry pocket clip, which is very nice. Recess screws, which is very, very nice. And you can see these screws are meant so that you can take this off and just switch it out without messing with the knife. So here we go, ready? Ooh, look at that. That's nice. And it is a liner lock, as you can see. Locks up pretty tight, no rock play. Really nice and solid. Nice sharp edge, it's got a nice, well, it's a spear point blade, I, I wanna say, but it's it's a rather long and thin grind spear point. Oh yeah, that edge is very thin here at the end. That's nice. Definitely some sharpness to it. Let's see how the lock goes. All right, so this is brand new. All right, so we got, we got a little detent, we gotta come over here. All right, there we go. Yeah, definitely you can see the, the liner lock right here, it's got some jimping on here, but it's definitely, this is a little lower than the other side, so you can definitely reach to it, pull over, and then close it. There we go. That's pretty nice. I like that. Let's see, how's that fit in the hand? You can get a full grip there, definitely. Got a little jimping right here. That's all you need. You could choke up just a little bit if you needed to. Definitely a nice, small carry knife to have with you. I like that a lot. It looks like a cerakoted blade, which is nice. And I believe this is, let's see here. Yeah, it's D2, I don't know if you can see that. That's D2 right there. And this is the Lander. If I hadn't said that already, the Lander. Um, I had his baby banter and the banter, and this is his Lander. I like that a lot, that's nice. Oops, get my finger out of the way. Yep, reverse flick, no problem. A little drop shut there. There we go. Almost ready to drop shut. 
put a little oil in there, I bet you that puppy will just be drop shut right away. Nice. It's got a little weight to it because these are steel liners. It's not titanium. I mean, at the price that he's selling this, it's just a phenomenal, phenomenal buy, I think. Um, it's a very affordable knife. Uh, I know the Kickstarter was probably a little cheaper because Kickstarter, but I'm sure when he starts selling these in the stores, it's going to be hopefully, you know, probably around the same price, maybe a little bit more, I'm sure. But this is really nice. Man, that edge is really sharp. I like that a lot. That is nice. Anyways, the Lander by Ben Banters by Nass Company, or Nass Knives. And then these really cool, nice little patch that you got with it. And a nice sticker. Now, I, I will tell you that I did um, the Kickstarter. I paid that price or that donation and then added a little bit extra. So I'm not sure if I got a couple extra stickers because I gave them a little extra or not. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. So if you ordered, if you did the Kickstarter and you didn't get extra stickers, maybe it's because I donated a little extra. I don't know. Maybe you get the sticker and this for buying the knife and maybe I got the patch because I donated a little extra. Either way, I like it. It's really cool. It's a very economic, not, uh, ergonomic knife. It's round at corners. It's not sharp. I like the texturing on the G10. Definitely give you some grip. Very, very usable knife. Very sharp blade. I like this, the shape of the blades. Very thin, thin, flat grind. Not all the way up, but up as far as you really, really need to be for a small blade like this. It's got a very sharp edge. That's actually sharpened really nicely, actually. I'll have to say it's really sharpened nicely, so that's a good job on that. And I like the clip. I like the G10. And I'll do some other videos when I get some more scales and swap these out. Uh, there's a few scales that I would love to put on this thing that I think would look really nice. I mean, you know, like I have a uh, EMP EDC nimble with a topo carbon. Something like that I think would be really cool. Anyways, thanks for checking in with me. I hope you guys have a great day. And check me out over on Instagram at Rob underscore nerd, nerdy knives. I appreciate y'all. Bye.